Uh, we have invited six people in order to show us some of uh, the projects that they are doing with the foundation. So um, it's people that will talk about gastronomy, about green in urban places, about medicine, etc. So please, Pera Castells. Sí. Hello, good morning. Well, I will talk in Catalan. This is quite complex. That's why. Well, I take part in this biomimetic project because I want to introduce gastronomy, cuisine, as a way of integrating um, biomimetics in cuisine so that people understand what this means. Um, cuisine has changed a lot during the last years and I think we can also include um, alongside Gaudí some geniuses, um, Ferran Adrià, Carbarus Callada, Ferran Roca, amongst these cuisine geniuses who have innovated. So in cuisine there's also been this um, biomimetic explosion. It's a sort of um, coincidence and we want to take advantage of it. So all these few um, examples I've selected r reflect clearly how biomimetics are related to cuisine. Well, this is a palo cortado. It's a work you can eat in Salleda Can Roca, a restaurant. Uh, it's actually made out of garlic. There's darker and um, fairer garlic. This is a composition we could find in nature. So, I'd like to talk about the two different lines that Daniel has already introduced. By the way, thank you very much, Daniel, for being here. So these two lines, which are um, education and um, dissemination of biomimetics so that it can penetrate society. And I think cuisine is a really accessible and basic tool for this. So, through workshops and exhibitions, courses, we could introduce biomimetics through um, cuisine. This picture you can see, it's um, a, a dish by um, Las Coles restaurant in Olot, uh, that's a town in Catalonia, and it, is, it illustrates volcanism um, in a culinary way. So these are volcanic structures. They've got these shapes. And they illustrate this ideology which is related to nature and to this volcanic area which is um, the surroundings of Olot, this town. Another line is the research line. Restaurants have become research centers. That's something I do. I want them to be um, research centers and this biomimetic research is a tool which may allow us to achieve great progress in the agro-food industry, which is a really powerful industry, and it will be more powerful in the future. So we are already mixing these two elements, biomimetic and cuisine, but we have to try to promote this fact further and I think the foundation will have an important part to play in this um, aspect. This picture is a creation by Enrique Grovira. It's made out of chocolate. It's um, Easter eggs made out of chocolate and they call them tsunami eggs. Uh, they are inspired in tsunami disasters. Um, it's something 
which we've seen lately in the news, and this is an international creation. Unfortunately, we've seen it in the news. Okay, conclusions of what we are proposing. To create a database that's biomimetic astronomy, and we will collect everything which has been done in biomimetic gastronomy and um, cuisine um, the world over at all levels. Many of these um, creations come from our country. Then we want to research new concepts. We want to, to create new concepts related to how technology can have an effect on new techniques and, and cuisine, as well dissemination, then meetings of chefs, of engineers, um, physic um, f physicians, mathematics, architects. So we want to research with them how we can create the shape of new food stuffs, but also um, different possibilities that these products offer. Also, we want to um, research in collaboration with companies. They can get inspired by us. Innovation has also occurred in cuisine lately, and it has occurred in a very special way. Finally, I'd like to show you this picture. It is inspired in this forest, Fajeda and Jordá, nearby Olot, the town in Catalonia. It's inspired in the fog with all this smoke, this steam. Well, this picture is by Paco Pérez. It's inspired in a panoramic view over the sea. You can see um, there's some foam, this white product. It's a new creation. It's called um, marine air in gastronomy, in cuisine. And well, it's all inspired in nature. Thank you very much.